found a lot of good stuff on the last episode. I have the Seamoth somewhere around me. There it is. Kind of loaded up and full of good stuff. Well, really, it just has sea pod clusters. And I thought, well, let's just go ahead and go to town down here. We're going to go crazy. Do a little Bob Ross here. Where can we shove this guy? I would like to put a nuclear reactor down. Can we put it right in there? Nope, it's got to be on that spot-ish. There. Come on. I had it. I had it. There we go. We're going to put a nuclear reactor down. Why? I don't know. Why not? Welcome don't really need to. Captain. Wasn't really planning on even coming back here, so... I'm not really sure what that accomplishes, but, uh, you know... We can do it. Why not? Hey, I'm KIC. Checking my inventory here. Oh my god, I have some reclaimed water. Sure, let's go ahead and chomp on that. Just seeing what or what sorts of stuff I picked up. So I'm going to need some lubricant for one. That's to make the reactor. And then we're going to need to go collect a bunch of titanium. I, I have a suspicion because, yeah, I'm kind of missing some stuff. Let's put the quartz in there, and I guess here, titanium, you are just titanium. This box here, I kind of took all my gold from, so I'll just refresh it with some of this random junk. Why not? There we go. That's not looking too badly. And Mr. Big Crap, here you go. Hold that, hold that creep vine seed pod, and then, let's see, I need the lubricant, and I need a couple of titanium ingots, I think. Let's see, what do we need over here? Two titanium ingots and some lead plates. That's going to mean making some batteries, for one. So let's go ahead and pull... I would like to make a bunch of batteries, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to go ahead and do eight batteries. Why not? And then, like I said, we need to actually go collect some, some titanium. But let's go ahead and drop these guys off first. I'm just going to drop the batteries off for right now. Or, you know what, here, we can just go ahead and make them. It's fine. Let's make them while there's still a slight hope of light powering the solar panels. Although, theoretically, at this time, the filtration systems have stopped running. So there really shouldn't be a power draw aside from me. So I, I think it'll end up being okay. There we go. Got four batteries. I'm going to go ahead and load this guy up full of those batteries. I know we do actually have some batteries on the Cyclops, but you might have noticed that the Cyclops isn't nearby. It's over there. Yeah, I kind of left it. I figured, eh, you know what? I don't need it. Let's just... Let's not take that around because that thing is a little more expensive to power. I have to constantly replace it with power cells. And maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I don't even need to do that. I'm not 100% sure just yet. Maybe I can just get it close enough to a big power source and it'll recharge on its own. I don't know. I suspect that's not the case, but I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, so what do I know? Although I actually have had it pretty close to the base before. Not necessarily right up next to it, but I have had it pretty close to the base, so maybe maybe that would work. I don't know. Get right up close to that outcropping there. Copper! Copper! Good. We could actually use a little more of that. Let's see, if I kind of follow the path here, I had seen a fair amount of titanium on the way, and I don't remember which side it was on now. Hi, cat. How's it going? Don't be a jerk. Hi. Headbutt. Go ahead and have a seat. Have a seat. No? You don't want to have a seat? That looks like stalker teeth, but I'm going to go ahead and grab the additional metal salvage. There we go. That'll be fine. Hop back in. Wow, that stalker wanted to say hello, didn't it? Jerk. Stalker, you aren't effective against my upgraded Seamoth. We're going to need to upgrade that guy today, too, so... I actually have quite a few things we need to be doing today. Let's find the Seamoth. There we go. Alright, still need to find a little more titanium. Quite a bit more, actually. I don't think that guy has any. I think I've looked around there before, and I've scavenged what I could anyway, so... It's not going to be helpful. So I guess we can just go scan this guy. This is probably good for two. Yoink, yoink! We'll take that. Why not? That's enough for an ingot. Oh, there's a couple more right there. This is getting us in the neighborhood, so I'm fine with doing it this way. 
I feel like we've exhausted a lot of the resources nearby anyway, so it's kind of like, uh, you know, if I can find something, I'm just going to go ahead and run with it because it sure feels like we've really hit everything pretty hard in this general area. Maybe not. Maybe I'm blowing that out of proportion. I'm not really sure, but just the same. Whole fragment. Definitely take that. It's another two. How are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus another, what are those, four each? Sixteen, so we don't have enough just yet. So we're going to need, we're actually going to need a lot. Man, it kind of makes me wish I still had a bunch of those ingots from early on. Made a bunch of ingots early in the series, not really knowing what they did. Just thinking, hey, I don't know, I guess I can make ingots. Why not? Sounds cool. Maybe I can build with them. I think I ended up using all of them, though. That's kind of a shame. They would come in handy right now. We have left just a couple spots, so let's check that little outcropping right there. Yep, I know. We need to get some food. Come on, Peeper! Ow! Peeper! Peeper! Come back! There we go. Good. So let's go ahead and head back. Got a bunch of stuff. Let's head back to the base. Back to the escape pod area. I think we're going to have what we need to at least put that reactor together. That'll be nice. I don't know if it's just powered solely on uranium. That would be kind of my guess. Oh, I see some salvage right there. Kind of missed that one. It's a little dark. That's my excuse. I'm going to stick to it. Excuse me, air sac, as I come zooming by. At least we do have an aquarium, so if we need to go eat a little more, we can go pull some food out of there. That'll be nice. And then here, let's just go ahead and park this guy right in here, because we're going to need to upgrade it anyway. I don't remember what it needs, so maybe I'll have the stuff we need. Don't know. Pressure compensator. Plasteel ingot and a computer chip. Well, I guess we got a bunch of gold, so we can make all sorts of stuff, although gold is wiring kits. Silver is computer chips. I think I have that right, finally. Hey, make the food. I want the food. And then before we do much else, let's go ahead and just titanium, titanium out all this stuff. Theoretically, we have enough here for three ingots. My cat is not happy with me. She will live. She'll be fine. There we go. Two ingots worth. Now we're going to need those batteries. We're going to need two of these guys. So, oh, I think actually we need all four of them. Right, now that I say that. So basic materials, lead plate. Yep, we need both of them. Both pair of them. So that means we need to make more batteries. Ah, bummer. So how many copper ore did I find? Two, huh? Two, you say? Hmm. I think we need another ingot, don't we? Now let's go pop out and take a look. Two ingots, three lead plates, and some lubricant. So we need one more lead plate and some lubricant, which we do have, and then we're pretty much good to go. So let's grab a couple more of these bad boys here. One, two, three, four. And then we should at least be able to finish this guy off. That'll be nice. And then I guess we don't really have to worry about power over here at all. Which, again, that would be kind of nice. Battery. Battery is found in the fabricator. And then we need to make another lead plate. Here we go. Take that lead plate. Let's go put this nuclear reactor together. Right. Lubricant's the last thing in. So we need uranium and disinfected water. I don't have any on me, huh? All right. We could do that. Let's hop back in here. I'm pretty certain we have some water. Equipment. Is that the same? Hmm. What is disinfected water? Bleached water. Oh, well, we can do that. Ah, I don't have any bleach. We need to make bleach. <laughs> All right, let's grab some common coral. I think that's what we need. Oops. 
And then salt, is that right? I know, I need to eat. I'll do it, I promise. Let's do some water, no. We need two, sorry, I need to back up. I am way too close. Let's make some bleach. And then we'll make some more bleach. Look at that, I'm actually kind of remembering what we need to craft stuff. It was bound to happen eventually. Resources, water, disinfected water. And then one more. All right, let's go get this bad boy up and running. Boom! Look at that. Theoretically, we got, uh, I don't know, a bajillion gigawatts. <laughs> Look at that, a thousand power. Ah, uh, we are so good right now. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, spade fish. So I guess spade fish gets eaten and a couple of peepers. Peeper, peeper, and a spade fish. And I think we're good. Does that, does that look right to you? Spade fish, spade fish. Yeah, that looks good to me. So let's go eat all of them. Man, look at that. We got a ton of power now. That is ridiculous. That is awesome. Let's cook all these guys up. Cook the peeper. I think I had another one in my inventory anyway, so maybe I didn't need to grab as many as I did. This would probably good op be a good opportunity to get some cured food. If I wanted to do that, then I need a salt deposit. I actually, I guess I ran out of food. Never mind, I grabbed everyone. I thought I grabbed one. Hmm, must have gotten away. Oh, old cooked peeper. Whatever. Cooked peeper, cooked peeper, cooked spade fish. And sure, whatever. We'll just eat it anyway, because it doesn't matter. Disinfected water, and we are good to go. Look at that. So, do I have anything else in here of value? Wire. Crud. So, we're going to need a plasteel ingot. And then we're going to need another plasteel ingot, I think. Where are you? Pressure compensator. And a computer chip, so... Let's hop back in. Actually, here, before we do that, let's open the storage and take all those guys out. We're going to go ahead and put them in the big crap. Didn't mean to fall down there. Hmm. It seemed weird. It, I was seeing the rays of the sun through the building. I don't, I don't think that's supposed to be what happens, but minor details. Drop off the quartz. Titanium, you can go in there. So we're going to need another 20 titanium. I know, I didn't actually need to consume both of those waters and that just cost me some food it's all right i'll deal with it enter the sea moth welcome aboard captain welcome aboard captain thank you appreciate that i like the greeting I do appreciate that like every time i get on my ship i am welcome to board that's the way it should be Oh, hey, give it back. It's mine. Where are you taking it? I guess you can take that one. I'll take this one. And then I'll just follow you and grab that one, too. Kind of feel like I should just have... Oh, look at that. Oh, aren't you just a doll? Let's go ahead and grab all of these. Yoink, yoink. And yoink. And if you would like to attack me, now would be a great time so I can pull my knife out and smack you in the face. It's actually going to come bite this, I think. Sort of. He tried. He missed. It's all right. Egg right there. guess if I could find another place where these guys hang out, I could probably find another little cache of titanium, but it's all right. We're not doing too badly here. I only have room for a little more, actually, so... This is actually working out probably quite well, but as, as I was kind of saying, I kind of think it might be a good idea to have a bunch of titanium. It just seems like we always need it, and I don't know, once you get a little into the lower depths, it's just not as easy to come by. I think I have enough for one more, and if not, I have a storage container that would allow us to store more. Oh, there we go. I saw that one was just delivered. It's good timing. Looks like there's some more down there. Now let's go ahead and load this guy up. All right, one, two, three, four, and I'm just gonna dive in here because looks like there might be some more stuff in here. Just the one, huh? That's okay. I'll take the one. What are you, limestone? You are titanium. You count. 
guess I'll take this quartz. And what are you? You're probably a rock. So can I, just out of curiosity, I haven't really had a chance to try this. Sure enough, I can move you out of the way. Who needs floaters when you have a repulsion cannon? Not me. Not me. I am super tempted now. Hmm. That's inconvenient. Can I move you? Maybe I do still need stuff. I don't know. Let's move you out of the way, too. Why not? What the heck? I was going to say, I am super tempted now to go see if I can free my seam off. Come on, rock. We need to move you a little bit that general direction. There you go. That way you don't... Oh, one more. Keep going. Oh, did I... What did I break apart? Holy cow. I just shot it into something and broke something. I broke some massive chunk of coral, apparently. Sorry, whoever lived in that coral. Didn't mean to do that. My bad. Boomerang, we're gonna eat you. Take up that salvage. And I think we have one more salvage to pick up. And then I think we're actually at the end of, yep, what we can carry. So let's go grab the seam off. Uh, the one that's actually nearby, not the one that is also in that same direction. Maybe we will go try that out just for kicks. We're, we're nearby enough. Theoretically, all the radiation is gone, so I can get over there now. Let's go take a look. I mean, why not? It's not that far away, right? Just gotta go swing around the Aurora. This is a total waste. I know it is. But I'm just curious. Swing by the base here. Oh, I guess I was going in the direction of the base because it would be... Where are you? Around that way? Oh, okay, it is still that way. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Here, let's go ahead over there. Like you said, I know, this is probably a waste, and I'm okay with that. Just as long as I don't get this one beached. I mean, it is the don't beach me, so theoretically we won't get it beached, but still, you never know. Never underestimate my abilities to get stuff beached. Although this might not be a good idea, too, because there are probably some Reapers around. Could easily lose everything over here. All this stuff I just spent a bunch of time gathering. The whole point of this episode, even, because we have to craft a bunch of stuff here before we call it a day. Getting close. Getting close. Yep, we're just going to swing right around here now. I imagine there are probably additional places on the Aurora that I can get into that I missed. And that's fine. I don't need to explore every little thing. I, that's not been my goal with this series, to do every every little thing. just want to have fun with it. And so far, I think that's been pretty successful. I think I've done well in that endeavor. Let's see if I can sneak you through here instead of going the long way. Looks like there's enough space to me. Yep. There we go. Alright, now, before I get this guy stuck, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's back off just a little bit here. Alright. Now, theoretically... I can get over here and I can pull out my repulsion cannon and launch this guy back into the water. That'd be awesome. Not that I have any use for it at all. Are you alive? Hmm, nope, good. And you are still stuck. Yep. A fragile ego is still stuck. That is unfortunate. I feel like I should shoot it or dismantle it or something to get it off my mini-map. No, oh, well, whatever. It's all good. Anyway, let's get back to the base. Let's see, I came through about that way over there. That's the direction I need to go. Good, got it figured out. Not entirely lost, just partially. I think we can squeeze through right here. Just gonna make a beeline for the base. So we're going to make another pressure compensator for the Seamoth. And if we have enough, we'll make two pressure compensators for 
the Cyclops because why not? Ideally, that'll get them pretty close to the same depth. I mean, I only have one of the power regulators in the Cyclops. We have three spots open. I don't think I'm going to have enough to do three. I am fairly certain. Well, I don't know. Maybe we will. I guess we'll wait and see. I don't know how much lithium I have, though. Three or four. We're going to need a bunch of plasteel to do all of this, so we might actually be at the limits and have to stop and go collect some plasteel, or rather some lithium to make some plasteel before we can continue. All right, almost back. Actually pretty close, believe it or not. Look at that. Nice, lovely, bluish sky. Some sort of shipwreck down there. I think we've been to that one several times because that one's right near the base. All right, so let's bust all this stuff out super fast and in a hurry because we have spent enough time just goofing around here. Let's go park the Seamoth in the moon pool because we are going to need to add a module to it. I'd say we could also let it recharge, but it's actually fine. All right, so let's go run around and do this stuff right quick. We're going to need... Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and make the titanium and get the ingots going. We're going to need them. Titanium. Ah, crud. That, that's annoying. You need to go away. There we go. Get the titanium back. All right, let's go ahead and make <laughs> uh, more titanium. And I know, the Seamoth still has titanium on it. We'll go get that in a minute. Because yes, we are going to do all of this stuff. No joke. Ingot. And ingot. Yeah, we're definitely going to have enough to do three pressure regulators for the Cyclops if we want to do that. Let's go run back this way and grab these guys. I don't know. Do I have enough? One, two, three. Yes. Should be fine. Okay. Grab these guys right here. Oink, 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 and yoink. Didn't grab any fish, did I? Oh, well. That's fine. It's all good. Don't, don't need to. Come on. Basic materials. Titanium. So this will give us another 16. We're going to have some left over. I might just throw some of these on the Cyclops into storage. Just to have them around. Seems like a good idea. Is that three ingots now? One, two, three. We're going to need four. So let's go ahead and do a fourth ingot. And then we also need a computer chip. So that's going to be a silver... And we actually need to run out and grab some table corals. Let's go ahead and do that right quick. And then I think I grabbed some quartz. Let's just take a look. Yep, I have some quartz. So we don't have to go far to get table coral. But there was some right here. Here we go. Let's see, I, I could have sworn there was. Purple table coral. Yoink, 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 yoink. Pick them all up before they hit the floor. Because, you know, they spoil when they hit the floor. And then we can run back in here. And let's make a computer chip. Electronics, computer chip. All right, let's go upgrade all this stuff. Still not entirely sure what we're going to take out of that, but uh, we'll figure it out. Seamoth upgrade. Oh, I need... Ah, crud, I forgot to do the plasteel. Most important part. Ish. One, two, three, four. Oh, whew, we have exactly what we need to do that. That's kind of fortunate. So we'll do some plasteel ingots. Three. And number four. There we go. Guess we probably need to throw some more uranium into the system. Just guessing. All right. So let's take a look at our upgrades. So we have Seamoth storage module. Guess I can probably take the storage module off for right now, honestly. I, I don't really need that, generally speaking. Oh, yeah, see, I do have a boomerang. I thought I grabbed something to eat. Pressure compensator. We'll just put two compensators on there. So safe depth is now 525. Crush depth is now 625. And just before we go, I'm going to go ahead and use this guy because... Wrong one. Food. Cook food. Just because. Why not? This one's easier to use. 
And let's drop off some table coral. We don't really need all this right now. We're going to keep all this junk. And then let's head over here just to take one last look. One, two, three. No, two spade fish. One, two, three, four peepers. So I'm going to grab a couple of the peepers. There are still two in here. Are there not? Good. No hover, no extra hoverfish though. That's kind of a shame. We're just going to make some cured food. Just that way we can take a little something with us and uh, I guess I should probably make another thermo blade. That's a really easy, convenient way to cook food. I don't know if I have what I need to do that. What do you need for that? I think you need... Let's see. I want to say you need... The... Silicone rubber. And to make silicone rubber, you need seed pods. Is that right? Seed clusters. So let's go ahead and make a new one. Just that way we have a new knife that's ready to go. I don't know if I necessarily need... To have another one, but why not? So then we'll go to personal tools. We'll make another survival knife. And then I don't remember what I need. Battery? Battery. Yep. And crud. I'm actually out of copper. Well, I will take care of the thermal bla thermo blade. Thermal blade, thermo blade on my own just so that I have one more of these guys. And we will catch up on the next episode as we go craft some pressure compensator regulator thingy jigger bobbers for the cyclops and uh, do a little more exploring so catch you on that one until then thanks for watching see you later <laughs>